I don't want to go out in that. Good morning lovies, welcome to weekly vlog number 15. I hope you had a wonderful week last week. Today, I don't really want to go outside in that, but I have to. So, I've put my bobble hat on. This one is from Topshop, I have an array of bobble hats. I am a bobble hat fan. And I'm going to take my coat that has a hood. My practical coat. And I don't like wearing practical coats, but I'm going to take one. What a wet start to the week. <laughs> It's lunchtime and I've got my trusty red onion and chive bagel. So good. And I've got chip sticks because I'm currently obsessed with them. And I've got a wagon wheel because I haven't had one for so long. Although this one has jam in the middle and I'm not 100% sure on jam. I don't really like jam. But it's chocolate and marshmallow so I'll be able to live with the jam. Although there is chocolate fingers here that I still haven't eaten and I'm going to make a cup of tea. Today is going really well actually. It's going really quickly. I better eat my bagel before it goes cold. Hello. It is much later now. I'm just feeding the hamster. I have had my dinner. It was a roast dinner. It was very good. Can't complain. Oh. Hold on. Oh, God. I have to soak her food in water <laughs> to make it soft so she can eat it. She's hiding at the minute. I need to get what I do is she gets those. They're almost like treaty things so they're not great. And then... I pick out certain bits from normal food, so like the green wafery, that was a boob shot, green wafery bits and I break them up and she, so she gets a bit more of a gnaw diet as well. I'm feeling pretty tired today so I'm just going to go to bed I think and maybe catch some catch up on some Netflix. I've been watching um, something called Deadly Women and... Um, I love it. It's basically, it's a really weird thing to say, I love it too. It's about loads of women that have committed murders and like the psychology behind it, like the story behind it, their backgrounds, why they think they committed the crime, all of that sort of thing. But I love all of that psychological, like mind stuff. I find it really interesting. So really, really, really enjoying that. I recommend that if you like the same sort of thing as me. Um, so I think I'm just going to watch an episode of that in bed. This is this takes so long. Does anyone else feel like really happy and content and just a bit more relaxed once like their desk or like vanity stand or whatever is tidy? Because this makes me feel so much happier. Oh, makes me so much happier. I also want to get a really cute little plant pot for this. So if you have any recommendations as to where I can get a small plant pot, preferably maybe like a marble effect or something that you think would work well on here please let me know because i don't particularly like that look at this i've just cleaned the hamster out and opened my door and aurora has jumped straight into the hamster run but she's there eating <laughs> you're funny you're funny you are you're a funny little thing I don't really know what's better, whether having no light on or a little light on. I have no idea. What's better? Maybe if I make this brighter. Mm. I don't know. Um, just finished work. It's now dark outside. I've gone out of focus. Does it help if the light's on? Will you focus on me if the light is on? Yes, you will. Because we waited so long on Saturday, some of the girls that I get the bus with all the time were like, we can get a taxi. So we got a taxi today. Yeah, it was a good day at work. It went fairly quickly. It's a Monday. Mondays are never great, are they? Um, but I'm now gonna go home and I'm gonna eat some dinner at home and pack and I'm going to Daniel's tonight. But he is working, so I'm gonna go around a bit later so I'm not sat on my own so late <laughs> for so long. Like. There's an aeroplane. Can you even see the aeroplane? There it is. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to go do that and I'm going to have a Disney sing-along on my way home because it's what you got to do. Just got to Daniel's. It is now quarter past nine. I think he has an Apple TV so I think I'm going to try and watch some YouTube on his TV. I've not done that before. Ooh. Um, I'm not sure. I don't know what time he's going to finish work. He's going to finish really late so... Um, I wore my new boots. Uh, oh, they don't look very fancy that way, do they? I love them. 
for my Christmas present, but the only other flat boots I have are my Uggs and it's supposed to like chuck it down with rain tomorrow and obviously you can't wear Uggs in the rain. So I was like, Mom, can I have my Christmas present now? Because my only other boots that I've got my heeled ones and I don't want to wear heels tomorrow, so she was like, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> so I got to wear them still and I'm going to wear them tomorrow. Like I said, I'm going to see if I can try and watch some YouTube on his TV. Hopefully I can make technology work because me and technology don't really get on that well. Oh my goodness, I'm so out of breath. You have to walk up like two, three flights of stairs to get up here and it wears me out. It wears me out. Right. Let's give technology a go, shall we? Yay, I got it to work. Alice, I'm watching your vlog on my TV. Well, Daniel's TV. Yay, it's like a movie. Oh, that noise, that noise. I can't deal with that noise. Good morning, happy Monday. Okay, so this is this is extremely random, but just watching Alice's vlog, she's just picked up a mug in the garden centre. Very cute, by the way, Alice. You should have you should get that mug. I don't know if you do yet. I'm not at that part. But I just wanted to say, I really like that mug purely for the fact that like the writing's on both sides. It really annoys me when you buy a cute mug and the handle is on the side that when you hold it, the writing faces you, so no one else can see the cuteness of your mug. Does anyone else feel like that? Please let me know in the comments that I'm not the only one that gets frustrated with that. But I have lots of mugs that are like really cute, but because I hold them with my right hand, like the writing faces me. And it's like, well, I already know what it says. Everyone else needs to read it. But yeah, side note, just thought I'd mention that because I like that mug. I got really cold, so I put Daniel's Jack Wills hoodie on. It's like my go-to when I'm here if I'm cold. I'm like, mm, can I wear your hoodie? <laughs> um, I just wanted to quickly say, I've just been sat watching YouTube with my friend that I was, I was talking to her at work earlier about about being an introvert and things like that. Um, so she sent me a video, oh, flashing, please don't die. Um, I, she sent me a video from a YouTube channel called TED, which I hadn't heard of before. And I watched the video and it was so good. And I've been sat watching a couple of other ones. I've just come across one by Ruby Wax, the comedian Ruby Wax, and she's talking about mental health. And... It is incredible. The way she talks about it, how she explains it, is so good. And I would highly recommend that everyone goes and watches this video because she explains it so well. And I feel like everyone really needs to understand mental health and the stigma behind it and the fact that if you have it, you're completely normal. Like, don't... You, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Basically, I'm going to link the video below and I think you should all go watch it. It's only like, how long is it? How long is this video? It's eight minutes long, so it's going to take up no time at all. Go and give it a watch. She's hilarious in it, but explains everything in the, like, perfect way. So, yes, that is how I'm going to sign off my Monday evening. But I was, I was just sat here transfixed by what she was saying. And I feel like even people that haven't suffered from a mental health in illness and people that do suffer from a mental health illness will really like find this really interesting. And I highly recommend the YouTube channel TED, which I didn't know existed. I don't know why I didn't know it existed because it has 5 million subscribers, but I didn't. And I do now and I'm obsessed and I'm watching loads of videos, but I better go before my battery dies. But yeah, link to this video is down below. Go and watch it and let me know what you think. Worst weekly vlogger of history, <laughs> epic weekly vlogger fail. So my battery died on my camera while I was at Daniel's on Monday night. And then I didn't get home till last night, Tuesday night, Wednesday night, and then had to charge the battery. So, and then I forgot to take my camera to work with me today. So it's actually Thursday evening right now. And I just hit a thousand subscribers. I kind of don't want to scream about it too much just yet because my skin looks really bad. I know it's probably going to go down a little bit again before it like sticks at it, if that makes sense. It always happens. It's very annoying. Um, so, yeah, but thank you so much. And thank you so much to Alice for mentioning me in some of her vlogs because you've really helped me out. Thank you so much, Alice. If you're not subscribed to Alice, which I'm sure you are, make sure you go check her out. I will link her channel down below. I love you, Alice. Yeah, I don't know what else to really tell you. I have tomorrow off, which I'm very excited about, and I'm I'm actually going to film a normal video tomorrow because I just haven't been in the mood to film them, so I haven't filmed them, and I've kind of been using the weekly vlog as an excuse and be like, oh, 
don't really need to there's still a video going up sort of thing but that wasn't the plan the plan was a weekly vlog and a normal video so i am going to film one tomorrow so hopefully if all goes to plan you will have two videos on sunday today so yeah i am now going to make my dinner because i'm very hungry and yeah i might have a bath tonight mm, then again i might also not have a bath tonight We'll see, I don't know. I've just been doing a bit of research into what to feed little lady, because obviously she doesn't use her teeth. Um, and they've suggested like cooked rice and stuff, so I'm cooking some rice for her currently. They said there should always be like something, something like that in her cage at all times. They've put cooked rice or whole grain pasta, barley, quinoa, um, cereal grains, like oatmeal and stuff. It says a dish or one or more of these staples should be in her home at all times. So I'm cooking some rice for her and then um, I've got some oatmeal that I can put in there as well. It's just whether she's going to eat it. This is the thing, like, we put things in there and she doesn't eat them. <laughs> so add sesame seeds or plain breakfast cereals. Oh, okay. Um, a drop or two of different vegetable oils. Yogurt. I can give her yogurt. That's weird. I don't know whether she's going to eat it. Mm, she's so fussy now. I'll put something in there like, for example, grapes. I put some grapes in there the other day. And, are you on me? Yeah. And she ate them all. And then I put them in there again yesterday and she didn't touch them. So I'm like, why are you so fussy? Why are you so fussy? <laughs> it's so frustrating. So I guess we'll have to see how she goes with the rice. I'm cooking it now and then by, I'll put it in when I go to bed because then it'll be... Um, cold for her. She's currently nibbling away at a treat that I put in there. Like pink disc thing. She's obsessed. I'll show you. There she is. <laughs> yummy, yummy. Nice load of poop there. I only cleaned her out two days ago. She's pooping a lot. She's got wet feet as well. Because <laughs> I have to soak her food. I should probably actually go check on my rice. <laughs> I'm in my pyjamas now. I'm so cold though. I'm really like, I've got goosebumps. And the heating's on. I'm still freezing. Um, I'm also wearing a new lipstick. I treated myself because I was having such a bad day. I was like, I need something to cheer me up. So I got another lipstick from Charlotte Tilbury. This one is Sexy Sienna. And as you can see, it's like a corally pink and it kind of matches my Rudolph nose right now. <laughs> I really like that. But yeah, I put the food in the hamster bowl. Some rice there. She uh, is currently hiding in her little bed in there. Oh, I think I just zoomed in. I didn't realise. Hold on. Oh my God. Let's get back out. Zoom back out, zoom back out. There we go. She's in there. So we just have to see how much is left when I get up in the morning. See whether she's eating it or not. I've cooked like so much rice. <laughs> um, put more in the pan than I thought I had. So now I have so much rice. Hopefully she likes it. Otherwise, I'm eating rice for lunch tomorrow. Good morning. I just filmed a clip and you didn't hear any of it. Basically, um, my brother, I think, I'm guessing, bought some of these little microphone fluffy things, like the wind protector things, and you can't hear a thing I'm saying when I had it on, so I've taken it off. Um, yeah, I basically said I've spent my morning chilling, having a nice quiet morning, recuperating from my stress of yesterday, and I'm now about to get ready to film a video. The video I'm filming, um, I would have absolutely loved to have found something like this. I feel like there's videos out there that are very similar, but I didn't, I'm trying to make it a bit easier to follow sort of thing. I, th I guess you'll understand what I'm talking about when you know what it is. I'll tell you. Basically, I'm doing a like smoky eye for beginners sort of thing because I did a makeup course a, while, a long while ago actually now. February? February. 
maybe February. Um, and it was the first time that it like clicked in my mind on how to do it. So I thought I would share it with you. And I've been wanting to film it for a long time, but just haven't got around to filming it. And I thought today is the day I'm gonna film that video. So I'm gonna film that for you. And I really hope it helps you out because if I'd had a video like this or this technique, um, I probably would have cracked it a while ago. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoy that video later. But right now I am gonna go sort my skin out, do my hair and get dressed and set up to film, so. I'll speak to you later. Just finished filming the main video. I'm actually really happy with how it turned out. I hope once I've edited it, edited it, edited it. Why do I find that word really hard to say? Anyway, once I've edited it, I hope I, it turns out as good as hopefully it will do. Now I'm just waiting for Daniel to come over because he is coming over for lunch today. I don't know what we're gonna have though. May have to go out, although it's a miserable day. It's like pouring down with rain. Hello. Oh look, my, my little flowers are starting to come out. This little plant always looks dead, but it's clearly not. Hello! But yeah, look, miserable day. Yucky. Yuck, yucky. Hello. Go on in. <laughs> it is much later now. Daniel has been and gone. We um, sat and watched, uh, or finished watching, a program called Glitch on Netflix. I think it's new. There's only six episodes. Um, and the first three we found a bit odd, but then the last three that we watched today I actually found really good. So I would recommend it. It's very strange and it ends on a really annoying cliffhanger. But season two is coming in 2017, so it's not all bad. Um, I'm now finishing editing off the video and thumbs up this video if you agree with me. And the hardest thing about making a video is picking the backing music. I swear it takes me longer to find the music to put in it than it does to actually edit the video and film it. <sighs> It's so annoying. And it's like you'll start listening to it and you're like, oh yeah, no, this is good. And then halfway through, it just doesn't work. And you're like, nope. It's 25 past seven, so I'm really hoping I'm done by eight. So, because I need to have a shower. I need to wash my mop. <laughs> I'm done. I really hope you like this video. I'm really nervous about putting it up. It's quite different to like what I normally do. So, yeah. And obviously I'm really, I'm like no expert whatsoever on makeup like i'm pretty much all self-taught so i'm sure i do lots of things wrong but because i found this so helpful i really wanted to share it with you so that's what i'm doing there's a little sneak peek oh hi me <laughs> um i now need to tidy the plates away from dinner because me and daniel are eating here because we're watching netflix and have a shower yep what is your favourite music to listen to when you're in the shower? Do you listen to music in the shower? I currently listen to that Disney album in the shower. <laughs> Random question of the day. You can always tell when Daniel's been here because my bed end up, ends up looking like this because for some reason he just can't sit nicely on scatter cushions. <laughs> oh, there are plates from dinner. Exporting. Oh, we also had mint chocolate chip ice cream. Mm -mm. What's your flavour? Flavour? What's your favourite ice cream flavour? Mine's mint chocolate chip.
hope you all had a lovely Saturday. My Saturday was quite slow, I'm not going to lie. Um, very glad to be going home. Although the lovely Sophie Kate popped in to see me, which was really nice. Kind of cheered my day up a little bit. I haven't, we speak a lot on Twitter, but I've never actually met her. She has a YouTube channel and a blog. I'll link her YouTube channel down below so you can check her out. There's lots of links down below this week, isn't there? There was a girl I saw today, and she had a piercing in between her boobs. I don't, I don't understand that. I hold the camera on, I'm really sorry. I don't understand um, a piercing in between the boobs, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, doesn't that really hurt? Isn't that really uncomfortable? Like, how does, how does that work? I don't know. She had it though. <laughs> so it is Saturday night, and Saturday night means one thing. It means that I am editing all night. And I'm not gonna lie, I do enjoy editing. It just takes a long time to edit a vlog, that's for sure. But I guess if you enjoy it, it doesn't really matter, does it? No. But I'm gonna go home and begin that and eat some dinner because I'm quite hungry today. Don't know what I fancy though. What do you know? I don't know what I fancy. Ugh, I'm just gonna put some Disney tunes on and drive home. <laughs> I'll speak to you later. I just sat and watched um, all the vlogs from Tully's farm. So like Mark Ferris's, Alfie's, um, actually I haven't watched two. <laughs> I'm really excited for Zoe's vlog. I really, really want to go to something like that. But I feel like there's only certain people that I would go with. Also, I don't know if I would cope with it. But I really want to do something like that. It looks so much fun. I love Halloween. Halloween. I really need to start editing the vlog. But I kind of just want to watch some more. Chris is shouting in the background. You probably can't hear him. But he is. <laughs> he don't sound too happy. No, he don't. Yeah, I would need to start editing the vlog, but I kind of want to sit and watch some more of them. Because I think Joe has got one, yeah. Maybe I'll watch his and then edit the vlog. It just looks so fun. I'd probably hate it at the time, but love it after, if that makes any sense. It's now 8 o'clock, so I really do need to start editing the vlog. And then when I'm done, I'm going to watch Zoe's vlog, because she's just put it up. It's 34 minutes long, so I definitely can't watch that right now. Oh, I have hiccups. <coughs> Editing done, and I'm now in my pyjamas, and I also feel like I look very rosy. I'm quite warm. <laughs> um, I feel like my vlogs end the same way. I need to get a bit more creative with this, how to end them. But I really hope you enjoyed the vlog. Thank you so much if you are subscribed and helped me get helped me get to um, my first thousand. It's amazing. My voice is really croaky as well. Oh my goodness, this end of the vlog is just an epic fail, isn't it? Look how rosy my cheeks are. What's that all about? Who knows? But yes, as I was saying, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Hopefully you did. I really hope you did. Sorry that we missed some days in the middle. I'm going to be better this week and I'm, I'm going to actually vlog every single day. Because <laughs> I think the last like two or three weeks I've failed and missed at least one day. Which is not good. That's not a weekly vlogger, is it? No. So... I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try, I went all farmer on you then. Um, I'm gonna try and make sure that I edit, I edit every day, no. I think I need to go to bed. <laughs> I'm gonna try and make sure that I vlog every single day this week. Ah, oh, I need to think of a question to end the vlog on. Right, let's think of a question. If you reach the end of this vlog, let me know what your favorite shade of lipstick is. If you don't wear lipstick, let me know how you have spent your weekend. In fact, even if you wear lipstick, let me know your favorite shade of lipstick and how you spent your weekend, because I would love to know. Make sure you're subscribed if you are new so you don't miss next week's vlog or the week after that, or the week after that. <coughs> oh my goodness, or the week after that. Um, and I'll see you next week. <laughs> Goodbye.